Hello, welcome to the core features video in NetGate's short form video series about Tensor software. In this video, we'll cover the foundational software features of Tensor. Of course, the feature set is evolving rapidly, but having this ground level understanding will help viewers understand the scope of what Tensor is targeting. And in fairness, some of the things it's not slated to address. Let's get started. First and foremost, Tensor is a high performance software router ideally deployed at the WAN edge, either on premises or in the cloud. Now, most of our viewers are well familiar with router fundamentals, so we want to focus on the areas that usually come up in customer discussions. The first questions are usually around supported routing protocols and IP address mapping. Tensor supports static routing, EBGP, IBGP, OSPF version two and three, ECMP, BFD with dynamic routing, RIPv1 and RIPv2. Tensor covers requisite IP address mapping capabilities, including IPv4, IPv6 dual stack, static ARP, and VRF Lite. These days, one can't really have a discussion about IP address mapping without considering the underlying infrastructure. And here, we're not talking about bandwidth. For networks expected to handle very large numbers of devices, think a service provider, IoT, or autonomous vehicles, IPv4 address space exhaustion is a big problem. But simply adding IPv6 is not the end game. Network engineers must also consider both route table size and convergence time. Fortunately, Tensor scales well beyond expensive TCAM based hardware solutions for handling large route tables while delivering fast convergence time. Next, edge routing deployment topologies vary widely. So buyers will expect flexible VPN, interface, and tunneling capabilities. For VPNs, Tensor supports route-based IPsec, which is more flexible, more powerful, and generally recommended over policy-based IPsec. Additionally, Tensor excels at high-performance IPsec with a broad set of standards-based transforms, as well as MD5 and SHA hash functions. For interfaces, Tensor supports VLAN encapsulation, including 802.1Q, Q Q, VXLAN, and bridging. Finally, Tensor supports a number of port grouping and tunneling protocols, including LAG, GRE, SPAN, and ERSPAN. Okay, that's a good foundational coverage of Tensor routing features. Let's expand a bit. Routing is all about forwarding traffic under a set of specified conditions. There's another key responsibility of a WAN edge or border router, and that is to operate as an effective firewall, which has as its goal to deny specific traffic forwarding based on some set of policies. Firewalls obviously can be applied at any layer of the OSI stack. While Tensor is not a fully fledged next generation firewall, as the industry likes to call them, it does provide the traffic controls necessary of any WAN edge router, including layer two, three, and four ACLs, port forwards, and a suite of network address translation, aka NAT capabilities. And Tensor goes well beyond basic NAT and into the territory of large scale NAT processing needs of both large enterprises and service providers. All right, by now hopefully you can see Tensor has a strong WAN edge routing feature set, but what about the illities? It has to have high availability and modern manageability to be considered enterprise or service provider class. On this front, we are usually asked about high availability. Tensor supports version three of the Virtual Router Redundancy Protocol or VRRP. VRRP is designed to eliminate the single point of failure inherent in a static default routed environment by using an election protocol that dynamically assigns responsibility for a virtual router to one of a pool of VRRP routers. The advantage gained from using VRRP is a higher availability default path without requiring configuration of dynamic routing or router discovery protocols on every end host. Tensor also supports tracked interfaces which allows the priority of virtual router to be changed based on the state of another interface on the router.
With respect to manageability, most enterprises and XSPs today are moving away from strict human management of networks and more towards automated network management and even more sophisticated intent-based networking. They are doing this to more dynamically align network needs with fast-changing business demands, as well as to reduce the cost of labor-intensive, more error-prone human intervention. Tensor has both a RESTConf API for straightforward integration into either proprietary or open-source IT automation, and a command line interface for traditional install, configuration, and monitoring needs. This is hardly a complete coverage of Tensor features. For that, it's best to check tensor.com or speak to a sales representative. But hopefully it provides a good overview of where Tensor functionality is centered. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified with every new release from this video series. If you'd like to learn more or trial our software, visit us at tensor.com.